They go now. Caught them way to a pretty good line too. And one of the first out, Mind Gold's going to race handy early. Dolvit going up on its outside. Admiring glances, Sahara Breeze, and from wide out is Elma Zayun coming across. Robley Bay is at about sixth position on the inside early. Decidity up, up with that leading pack early. Bataki getting one off the fence. Lanceret wider with a grey space region going forward. Now back about midfield we had Sarah Decker. Kachina's wide out. And then Chicago Baby from Stark Cossack. Two lengths to Burning Embers and Pray for Rain. Alma Zayun hit for the lead at the 1400. She settles down about a length clear. She did come from the outside barrier, so she's had to work across the face of the field. Admiring Glances is going to go up on her outside now and join her. A length and a quarter back, Dole beat third, but one off the fence. On its inside, Mind Goal. The length away then to Decidity. Robley Lass was sixth on the rail. Sahara Breeze is on the outside. Batonchi one off the fence and back on its inside, Sarah Decker. They were followed by Space Regent. Kachina's three, maybe even four wide there. Then Chicago Bay maybe one off the rails. On its inside, Burning Embers. Uh, they were followed by Star Cossack, second last now, and Pray for Rain was back at the tail of the field, about eight lengths off the lead. Lancerret goes three deep, it's about fourth last. Alma Zayun at the 800 leads, about a half a length, two admiring glances. Dole beats third, fourth the inside, Mine Gold's had a good run. Decidity three out around Robbie Lass and Sarah Decker, four wide Sahara Breeze, and Kachina's pulled out five wide. Lancerret's also going to be deep as they turn for home, and in behind those horses was Kachina, then Star Cossack, Chicago Baby, Burning Embers, back up the tail, pray for rain. Elmer Zayun at the 400, the leader, violating the Burning Embers. Mind Gold gets out, it's had the pretty run, and then Dull Beat, Burning Embers, tracking through on the rails, further out on the track, was Pataki running on well. Mind Gold goes up to Elmer Zayun at the 200. Here's Pataki, Burning Embers getting through nearer the rail. It's Pataki and Burning Embers sweeping to the lead, and then Star Cossack, Burning Embers, and Pataki. Pataki the outside, and Burning Embers, Pataki with its head in front, and it's got up to win here but Toki from burning ember star cossack third then mine gold every chance next time in the race would have been uh, sarah decker which made up some ground robbie lass went on pretty well mine gold faded in the last hundred meters and then chicago baby they were followed home by elma zayun who got tied sahara breeze pray for rain and then came decidity lancerette space region Dolvit and Kachina. Well, we're talking, it's Darren Beeman again, and he's got this horse up right in the shadows of the post again. Well judged run. Number seven will be the winner, but Toki Darren Beeman. Uh, it was a good effort, wasn't it? It uh, it was a pretty ride, one off the fence about seventh, and uh, the two Hayes horses sweeping towards the lead at about the 200 metre mark to find out. A tremendous finish, two of the best in the business, Darren Beatman and Shane Dye. Yes, they got home very well here. And five is third star Cossack, so seven, eight and five will be the placings. That's right. Well, the one, uh, one from the inside rail is Burning Embers, and then one right on the outside here is Bataki. And you can see the two of them, they start to fight it out. There's nothing between them here, and they're both these boys riding for dear life to get the bob in on the line. But Bataki was just too strong in the finish. OK, well, it could be the start of good things to come. It's a double for Peter Hay so far and also training the Quinella in that race, Pete. Yes, Quinella in that. Two out of four so far. It's not a bad day, the final day of the carnival, and it has been for the Hayes family for quite a few years, Pete. Uh, yes, yes, it's, uh, it's been a good, a lucky day for us. I hope it continues. Um, you know, these, these, these two mares have been uh, crying out for a mile and a quarter at Flemington. They both ran very well at Mooney Valley. Patochi particularly just didn't handle the track and uh, she's been just looking for this for such a long time. She's been so unlucky in, in, a, in a couple of races leading through, so she deserved this win. And the other mare had a very nasty fall in the Australian Oaks um, and it's taken a long time to recover and get her confidence, you know, and uh, Mooney Valley was the first sign of that and she's come and, and produced a very good run again today. I suppose you'd be pretty pleased to be associated with Darren on what's a, a pretty special day for him, his last Melbourne Cup Carnival for the time being anyway. Ah, yes, I like Darren very much. He's a great man and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a big thrill to uh, be involved with him on this day. Congratulations, Pete. Maybe more to come later. Thank you. Thank you. Peter Hayes, who will saddle up one of the favourites in the Chrysler Stakes a bit later on, Pengaloo. There is Darren Beeman out with Johnny Letts, and let's go out and chat to the champion hoop now. Yeah, Darren, that's the last two you've won, and, uh, gee, it's going to be hard to pack up the saddle and the gear and leave <laughs> this race course, isn't it, for the last time? I guess so, mate, but, um, you know, always say the best will last. Yes, well, you know, you've been so popular with people, and just what, what a compliment Peter Hayes paid you then. I could hear it through the phones here, and uh, he said it was uh, just... Uh 
great to be involved with you. Yeah. you know, and, uh, and everybody on, on the race course feels that way. But Patasha getting back to her, a nice run all the way. Beautiful run. I was about eighth, went off the fence, travelling smooth. And the Peter Hayes polish come through the last furlong. And you beat the stable, mate. <laughs> yeah, I seen Billy on the inside. I wasn't going to let him pass. <laughs> Good luck, Darren. Thanks, mate.